Hey, it's Chuck Armstrong with Loudwire Nights, and this is Loudwire Nights On Demand. I am so happy that we got to hang out with Kyle Gass, one half of Tenacious D. And uh, we talked about everything from Britney Spears, the cover songs, to what is on the horizon for the D. This first aired on Wednesday, April 10th. Enjoy. Well, listen, we have had some people on this show that uh, I'd use the word legend for, guys like geezer butler and slash and billy corgan dolly parton and john bon jovi on and on and on but i can safely say tonight tonight we might just retire this whole thing because we've reached the pinnacle of rock we finally have someone worthy of the legend status and i don't even know where to begin so i'm not even gonna try kyle gas rage cage kg one half of tenacious d <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh you for hanging gosh, tight. Man. What an introduction. I <laughs> just, I can't even go on. I'm all wet and runny. I just, you got me. <laughs> I am, Gee. I've been a fan forever, man, from HBO wow. to, to, to the first album. One of my first dates with uh, my now wife was actually Pick of Destiny in the theaters. And I got to oh say, my the, gosh. the fact that she was cool with it and even enjoyed it and yeah. stuck with me, I knew that she is. was the one. It's a barometer. It's a barometer of future relationships. That is, man. Honestly, Tenacious D for me is a big one for friends. Like, wow. If you're down with the D, then we can be you're down with the D. <laughs> then you share a certain resonance, a certain right. sense of humor. You can, and if you, yeah, you can go together. And if you can sing every word, every song, then we're going to be best friends. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, I got to say, man, huge congrats on the release of uh, your latest song, your cover of Britney Spears. One more time. Uh, you know, part of the latest Kung Fu Panda movie, but just, you know, finally Tenacious D covered Britney Spears. Have been waiting it for lives on years. its own, hopefully. <laughs> That's right. How this long have you guys... the credits. How long have you guys been wanting to cover this? Uh, for as long as Jack was making Kung Fu Panda 4, I think. <laughs> I think for as long as that. No, it was his idea. I think they wanted something, and then and then Jack said, you know, sort of fit in with the, the concept. Yeah. Of hitting. That's what we, you know, that's what we like. No, Kung that, Fu that, and violence. Makes sense. That's what we like. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, so, so besides that, besides violence and, you know, connecting those two things, what determines um, the song? Worthy well, it's a great, I, I thought it was just a great pop song. I mean, it's kind of her signature song from, uh, I think it's 98. And when something reaches 25 years old, it's automatically a classic. You know, you yeah. just need like a Cars songs. And uh, Max Martin, you know, he, I think this was his first hit, if I'm not mistaken. And, and now he's a, he's a songwriting legend, <laughs> Max That's Martin. Right. And now you get to be connected to that forever. Well, yeah. But I think, you know, when you're doing a cover, uh, I think part of the game is, well, let's try to make it better. There's yeah. a song there. She did it. It was very, um, her style kind of signature with the vocals and such. Yeah. But uh, we took it and we sped it up and Jack did a stanky vocal and uh, and we added some crunchy guitars and kind of rocked it up. And I think it was like, well, this is a different version of the song that you might enjoy. Check it out. <laughs> That's right. Cue song. And, and you made a, a pretty amazing uh, music video, too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was some good uh, multitasking. I think we were doing the, the red carpet fun? for. Oh, yeah, it was great fun. It was kind of fun to have a purpose. At a red carpet, because there's a lot of hurry up and wait, and all right, let's do this movie. And they're like, oh, we're shooting a video. Okay, we're working. This is fun. <laughs> I love that, man. Uh, so are there, like, listen, you're, you're no strangers at covering songs. Um, That's you know, true. Chris Isaac or, or Britney Spears in, in recent true. memory. Did you see our Beatles medley? I did, yes. Yeah. And, and uh, The Who, that was pretty the epic Who? as well. Yeah, yeah. So do you, I mean, like, like, is that something, listen, you guys make pretty incredible original music too. It's safe to say. Uh, but do you, do you guys you. have fun going in the studio? I know and, because and if out? you, if you do too many covers, then all of a sudden you're a bar band and then you got to go right. down to the. And the D will never be just a bar band. <laughs> well, that'd be fun. You never know. Uh, maybe really late. <laughs> maybe that's My a head. tour. Hit the bars My across the States. Hold on. Hold on. I'm from Green Talent. Yeah. What do we got? Hi, um, so re a couple of weeks ago, I sent you an email about it. I'm going to pull it out right now, but I was wondering if you had a chance to take a look. Is it a... Because they are following up. Right. Oh, so is it a... It's, called, it's a gig? No, it's a opening night celebration. Oh, okay. All right, I'll check that out. Tommy. Thank you. All right, yeah. Okay, sorry. 
I thought it might be an acting gig, and I got excited, Chuck. And uh, yeah, well, listen, now I the don't Hollywood edit doesn't this. call. I don't edit this show, so that all of that's going to be on the show, man. Andy, Andy, note to Andy, edit that part out. I thought it might, it could be fun, but it was like, they invited you to an opening of something. Who yeah. cares? <laughs> anyway, back on track. Where were we? Back on track. Oh, we're talking about. I love covers. A, there we go. I love covers. I I, I I love great songs, and it's just always fun to learn and play songs. And actually, it's kind of instructive for trying to write your own songs because everything kind of is uh, influenced by something else. And so you go, oh man, I wish I could write a song like this. Yeah. And then you play it. Well, you know, are there, are there songs that, that you guys think about covering that you haven't covered that, that you want to cover? Well, it's funny that you ask me that truck because I was really pushing for uh, a covers project Ooh. and we started and we started going crazy because I think, well, we have so many already. And then, uh, we went into the studio and and just knocked off like no exaggeration like 30 but kind of short versions of them just to kind of see how we liked them and then um and then we had some trouble getting the rights to one or two and then we got frustrated and said ah the hell with it we'll just do our own thing but yeah it would be fun to put them all out there yeah i mean rock and roll is supposed to be easy man come on right that's why we chose this profession I can't do real work. Come on. Uh, yes. Listen, listen, what, what else is going on with you guys? I mean, you're celebrating the Spears. You're also headed to Europe and Australia. Yeah, you gotta- yeah we're going in a tour. We're going in a, a, a tour uh, uh, section. We're going to be going to Europe in early May. And then we're going to Australia in July and New Zealand. So that's going to be big fun. That's kind of the... That's kind of our favorite thing to do, really, is just fly around the world like rock stars, uh, stay at fancy hotels, and then entertain folks. I mean, what's what's better with your homies? That's right, man. Well, right, you man. know, we were talking about how how the D is kind of a barometer for uh, you know friends or or in my case wives. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's it something is. too there's something too uh, that 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 that's special about a tenacious D crowd. And some of the funnest oh, concerts yeah, I've been to, yeah. man, is is with oh, other really? fans of, of Tenacious D. Yeah. yeah, I guess it's kind of cliche to say, we have the best fans. And yet here I am saying it, we got the best <laughs> fans. Because I think it's it's not massively, uh, I mean, it's popular, but it's still sort of in this kind of cult thing. So you see, uh, all of a sudden, it's like, uh, yeah, you're in your own, your own little uh, tribe. Yeah, like, every, if fun. you're at a Tenacious D show, I mean, you're there to have fun, right? Like, like you're you're yeah. you don't just you don't just flip through the paper and be like, oh, this band Tenacious D, they're playing tonight. We should go check and them it's, out. Like, it's almost a contest to sing along to as much as you can to show your devotion to the D. We see absolutely you, absolutely right. We hear you. <laughs> Good. I'm justified That's now fun. for uh, all the times yeah. I lost my voice at a, at a D show. <laughs> no, it's a it's a sing along, but I love yeah, that. It's man. A, it's a fun show. Well, listen, you know, a lot of these shows in Europe and, and Australia, man, mm-hmm. they're, they're sold out and they've been sold out. Uh, they have sold out. I know. And we're playing some, some bigger places. What goes I'm going to blame Jack. Head? I'm going to blame Jack on that. <laughs> what goes through your head when you think about Tenacious D still being here in 2024, still making music and selling out venues literally all over well, the world? Well, I feel very fortunate, really. I mean, it's been going on for a long time. and and uh, But I think comedy... A lot of times age as well. I was thinking like, I could probably go see Cheech and Chong right now, have a good time. And comedy fans are really loyal. And I think, uh, you know, people recognize the live show is, is, uh, is spectacular entertainment. Um, but no, it feels amazing. I can't, uh, I can't, uh, yeah. Well, I, I, don't I understand do, it. I do want to tell listeners that I do think, I think there's a show in Paris and a couple of shows in New Zealand. There might be a few tickets available. That's true. You know what? And we were like bumming because you want to say sold out tour. And yet I think there's a few left. But what do you think? Uh, Yeah. uh, Paris, they just, we don't care really. Uh, (laughs) I don't want to say anything. The nation's deep. But listen, if uh, if you got some extra cash lying around, you know, go through the sofa cushions and find yeah. some uh, some coins. We're talking to the rich to fans right now. Yeah, we're right. flying to Auckland, New Zealand. You know what? <laughs> if you can get there and you can find me, 
I will put you on the list. There you go. Promise right there from Kyle Guys. There you go. Uh, You can see uh, those dates at tenaciousd.com. And I don't know, man, maybe you'll, maybe you'll actually play in America too. Do you still love America or is it all, all Europe? (sighs) Oh no, we do. We, yeah, yeah. We just got through with one. Where'd we play? Just a crazy, crazy place. You don't don't even remember. You're such a rock star, man. (laughs) Where was it? Oklahoma? (laughs) Juanita, where was the last tour? Where'd we go? In America. America? Nobody remembers. I have my whole staff here. <laughs> Philly. Yeah. Where else did we go? Uh, Nola, Nolans. Well, yeah, Nolans. That's where I got really sick on stage. I took an overdose of uh, of uh, Ozempic, and uh, <laughs> man, and just I'm telling like you, a, just like a rock star. Just like a rock star. I'm like, wait a minute. I think this is a good idea. If I inject myself with this. <laughs> I could be like the rock. I think I could be. And then I did too much. And then all of a sudden I was like vomiting on stage. This is just a uh, FYI, you know, public service. It's public service. Don't, over, don't overdose on your Ozempic. Well, listen, as you throw up on stages all over the world, um, yes. you know, who, uh, do, you, do you find D fans, you know, different in certain places? Because like I said, man, here in America, the shows I've been to, just the funnest crowds, but like, yeah, you know, Paris, Australia, the other places. Do you find them? I know we're international, comedy? Chuck. Is, Chuck. is it different? We're worldwide, yo. <laughs> I know, man. Uh, actually, they're more similar than the same. You know, they give you just a big smile, and it's like, oh my god, the person that's on the YouTube is standing right in front of me. This is amazing. Um, and then I usually ask them, well, what's your favorite song? And then they, ah, ah, that one, and they can, they don't know the titles, but they can describe them. <laughs> I love it, man. Oh, uh, so listen, I got, I, I got to ask, what's on the horizon for Tenacious D besides these, you know, massive international shows? I think we, we have to, we have to finish the new record. We've been working on it. We come up, we have a very strict six-year cycle. <laughs> yes, and classic. A, a classic six-year cycle, and uh, I think we might be a little overdue. So is this the Juanita, covers when did our project? Last album come out? What's that? Is this the covers project or is this uh, another? No, I think that one's that, that, that's dead that in the just, water. We need dead, originals. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you're coming up on six years, man. Post Apocalypto was 2018. Oh my God! Yeah, we got to do it this year. We could feel the heat too. I mean, but uh, that you know, it's got to percolate. We got to fit it in between Jack's very busy uh, film schedule. But uh, we're going to do it. We're going to get it. So that's actually the main thrust. Because if you're not, publish or perish, I think. I'm just going to say, Chuck, you know how it is. I, I get publish it, brother. or perish. You want to keep that uh, professorship going. You want tenure is what you want. Yeah, no, it makes sense, man. In six years, that's a that's a good mark. That's a long and come on, how, you know, how many more six-year rotations we got? <laughs> well, that's this could easily be too, the man. last one. Who knows? Well, listen, I think I do think, man, you release this album, you do a bar run across the country, you know. <sighs> oh, you don't man, need bar. these big venues. You don't need these big venues. We're going to call it bar storming. <laughs> we barn st- bar storming. Nor storming. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It works. Well, Kyle Gass, Rage Cage, I got to say, man, it is uh, true. I mean, honestly, like it is such a privilege Dude, to chat with you. Can I take you everywhere? You really? It's just like a, <laughs> Please, I feel yeah. really good about myself. This is fantastic. Listen, next interview you have, I'll call you and you can put me yeah. on and I'll say like, Kyle, I got this huge acting opportunity, man. You and then we'll just. <laughs> Dude, I apologize. I, I got too excited. No, I get it, man. Hey, you got to you got to do what you got to do. What? Oh, there's an audition for for me. <laughs> Listen, stay up to date with everything going on in Tenacious D's world at tenaciousd.com. We have got the uh, Britney Spears cover video, <gasps> everything on the Loudwire what? app, and uh, yeah, we love it on Loudwire. Hey, I want to thank man. Loudwire for being such a great supporter. You guys are always right there for us. It's Appreciate easy. It. You you make it Loudwire. Easy Let me do a drop. Hey, everyone, check out Loudwire for the latest Tenacious D. Nine one one. Oh wait, four one one. You said live wire, man. It's loud wire. I can yeah, tell yeah, you. Yeah, that's a big what I fan. meant. <laughs> I know, right? Well, you guys are live wires. That's for sure. That's right. There you go. I got it. Cage, thank you so much for the time, man. Hopefully, we can hang again. And listen, that other guy, Jables, we do not need him on the show. Ooh. Just you and me. Just you and me. Just you and me, baby. I like it. That wraps up this episode of Loudwire Nights On Demand. Stay caught up with everything happening in the world of rock and metal on the Loudwire app and at loudwire.com.